So, what is a paleoclimate record and why should you care? Um, first, I'll, I'll say a little bit about what paleoclimatology is. Paleoclimatology is the study of the climates of the past. Paleoclimate records consist of a lot of efforts by geologists and ecologists and other scientists to go out and identify different kinds of deposits on uh, the Earth's surface, be it ice cores, uh, marine sediments, corals, tree rings, lake sediments, all kinds of different uh, geological deposits or biological deposits that record how climate has varied in the past. It's, it's a really, really diverse science, which is why I enjoy it. Um, in my work, I get to go into tropical Africa, Indonesia, uh, other places, take long sediment cores or uh, other types of geological archives, um, and come bring them back to the lab and measure all kinds of different things in them. Everything from the pollen that they contain that tells us about how vegetation changed in the past to measuring the chemistry of those sediments, which can tell us a lot about changes in temperature in the hydrological cycle. So paleoclimate records consist of lots and lots and lots of different deposits like those that tell us about how Earth's climate has varied through time. Why should you care about that? Well, there are many reasons to care about Earth's history. Whenever you hear someone say, the Earth is now warmer than it has been in a thousand years, they're uh, referencing efforts by hundreds and hundreds of paleoclimatologists to go into uh, uh, these geological archives and reconstruct temperature and compare those temperatures against the modern. So in essence, the paleoclimate record lets us investigate climate on timescales much longer than anything that people can observe. We have weather station data that extends back maybe 150 years in the best case. This is a very, very short time period to understand the, the full workings of our climate system. Paleoclimate lets us access those much longer time scales to try to understand and contextualize the climate changes that are occurring today. We can do several things with those records. Um, not only can we contextualize current climate change, the paleoclimate record provides one of the only ways that we can test how climate models, the same models that we use to simulate future climate, how those models perform when simulating climate on, uh, under boundary conditions that differ from the last 150 years. Today we're changing atmospheric carbon dioxide concentrations. We know the Earth is warming in response to that. We can go backwards in time and identify previous time periods when carbon dioxide concentrations changed and ask, how did Earth's climate respond to those in an effort to try to calibrate the climate models, in effect? The other reason, which is much more fundamental, is that paleoclimate records have provided us with many, many, many fundamental understandings of how Earth's climate has changed through time. One of the best examples of this comes from tipping points. When we simulate future climate with climate models, the climate system doesn't tip from one state to another. Instead, our, our entire understanding of tipping points in the climate system comes from paleoclimate records that have shown that the Earth's climate can flip from one state, maybe a cold state, to a warm state and back in a matter of decades in some cases. And so there are all kinds of examples of this in which the paleoclimate record has, has told us about how sort of fundamental changes in Earth's climate system have worked through time. And so those, those, are, those are very important to our understanding of how climate works.